Hello everybody, I'm Cam Christo and this is Total War Warhammer 2, a good game that I am not very good at, but you know what I am good at? I'm good at complaining about UI design. So let's take a look at some fantastically bad UI design. Generally, good game, I reiterate, but let's say I want to do a trade. Let's say, uh, Stealand here. Stealand, I'd love to sell you a non-aggression pact. Okay, so, non-aggression pact. Likelihood of success high, good. Now I would like some money. How much money are they going to want to give me? I don't know. There's absolutely no feedback on this screen about how much they're willing to give me. How about 1300? Likelihood of success low, which actually means literally never. Low means 0%. Nice. Okay, 11. Moderate. Mm. No, rejected that. Okay, let's try uh, 900. Nice, they accepted. Okay, so in order to get money from them we have to guess how much they want to pay and then slowly reduce it from a no until they say yes this is bad ui design and this is a solved problem it's been solved for decades allow me to demonstrate here is eu4 another excellent game better game actually if we're being honest and it has a very good ui design almost all the time. Here are all the different diplomatic options. Note that despite the fact there are l many, many times more of them, the player can actually interact with them far easier and quicker because the game tells you whether the AI will accept or not accept. This is the same way that the AI works in Warhammer, it's just that in Warhammer they lie and they pretend it's based on chances to accept, which it's not. It's actually based on reasons. E4, CK2, all the Paradox games are substantially better in the, on the uh, side of diplomacy because they actually tell you the reasons why the AI will do things. That's especially relevant when you're trying to look at asking the AI to do something which can have a variable amount. If you ask for trade power, in this case, it will default to the amount of trade power they are willing to give you. If you lower and raise it, you can see their willingness to accept change as you go higher and lower and you can see the exact reasons for doing that. This is good UI design. Forcing the player to figure out what someone's willing to do via trial and error is bad UI design. Thank you for coming to my TED talk and I'll see you next time.